It's so hot. Do you think the mayor is going to announce the construction of that vampire water slide? Yeah! Arizona Smith here, the world-famous archaeologist, assures me there is a treasure trove of archaeological finds in the caves just outside of town. Tourists from all over the world will flock to our town to the number one archaeological attraction at the museum. Those wishing to see our exciting discovery are invited to meet us at the caves later. Is that guy really famous? They say he's discovered wonders. I think we should go take a little look. Ooh. Cool! Think it's an ice man? Or a mummy's tomb? Or maybe it's a vampire's coffin. Looks like an ancient crypt, sir. Huh? Oh, I can see the tourists lining up already. It's a bridge! What the heck is a bridge doing there? Bridge? <laughs> well, uh, this is not... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> this is a joke. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Go back and dig! <laughs> This uh, uh, dig is going to be the, the, the best thing to happen to this town. That way. Oh, which way should we go? How about neither? Right, this way. That's for sure. find a 70 million year old T-Rex, could you? No. Sir, I believe this stone is sacred. Probably put on that altar as an offering to some sort of god or mythical creature. A rock. I'm warning you, Smith, my patience is limited, like your funding. You'd better go back in there and find something. Mr. Smith, we saw an angry horned monster in there. You shouldn't go back in until we figure out what it wants. An angry horned monster, you say? Oh, yes. That reminds me of the time I fought with the Tomb Raider at the Khufu Pyramids. Mr. Smith, we'd better not dig any deeper. Rocks are falling all over. I know it's dangerous, but we can't stop. There's going to be more sacred stones, maybe even something bigger. 
We better do some research into this horned horror. There it is. That's just like the stone Smith took from the cave. And there's the horned horror. Primitive folklore suggests that the sacred painted stones were left to keep the horrible horned mountain monster in its cave. And if the sacred stone was removed from the cave, the horned mountain monster would terrorize the nearby villages. We're in a nearby village. The horned horror is probably mad enough to destroy us all. The stone has to be put back in the cave to keep the horned horror happy. You're right. The stone shouldn't have been removed. It belongs to the Horned Horror, not the museum. So, we have to convince the mayor to return the stone to the cave. Yeah, before the Horned Horror destroys the caves. Uh-oh. The monster! The monster! Ah! where you're going. Phew. Let's go home. We're going to have a big day tomorrow. Press conference. If you don't return the stone, the horn horror will destroy the caves and the town. It needs its oh, stone. Not that stupid stone again. But, sir, if we don't act now, the town might be destroyed. Shush. Oh, it's a public relations nightmare. Serves me right for trying to put this town on the tourist map. I've got enough trouble on my hands. Next time, think about a swimming pool. Oh. Archaeological dig is a real fiasco. Well, should we prepare for the destruction of the town? If only we had another stone that would keep the horned horror in its cave. Mona, what are you doing? Mom, do you remember the old vampire protection stone I gave you when I was little? My Mother's Day present? The one with the painting of Von... Von Creepsula. Do you know where it is? It's our last chance to save the town or something terrible will happen. In that case, I better get it right away. Your sacred von Creepshula stone? Are you sure it'll work? It's our only hope. It just might be powerful enough to keep the horned horror in his cave. Here you go, Mona. Best paperweight I ever had. Horned horror, behold the power of the sacred vampire stone! We have to get the stone on the altar before the Horned Horror gets excited. Do you remember the way? Yes, that way. Can't walk! And leave 
me here. Save yourselves fast. No way we'll leave you here. I've got an idea. Stone should have stopped the Horn Horror from destroying the cave. So, uh, did you make that big find that's going to transform this town into the tourist capital of the world? Here, another rock! <gasps> Strong evidence suggests that an ancient vampire cult lived right here in the caves. So, Mr. Mayor, what's the big announcement? What's going on with the caves? Yes, the <coughs> caves. Uh, I ordered the caves to be leveled so that we can uh, uh, build a new uh, water slide. Yes, that's it. A vampire water slide. Yay! Yes! 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 as I suspected. There is no 5 a.m. train. Dad, did you hear that spooky train whistle this morning? I didn't hear a thing, Mona. But you know me, I sleep like a log. It was coming from that way, but the train tracks are over there. I remember some old tracks on the south side of town, but they've been abandoned for years. Mona? I heard it too. It was spooky. Oh, what's that? Good work, Charlie. Those must be the old train tracks. Yeah, they sure are rusty. But look, something's passed through here recently. This branch is broken. It's haunted. Wanted, dead or alive, Caboose Malloy for robbery. I think someone's coming. <laughs> Got some unfinished business to attend to. Ain't nobody gonna stand in my way. It's the man from the picture. Come on! Hey, someone's been cleaning up around here. Hmm, I guess Malloy is making himself at home. Ah! He's playing the piano! It's just a player piano, really. But he must have wound it up to scare us. So there was a 5 a.m. train on this line. The number seven special. An old train ticket. Maybe Malloy dropped it. We've got to warn Officer Howcroft that one of history's most wanted is back in town. Malloy? Back in town? <laughs> no one's seen him in a hundred years. Not since the great train robbery. Great train robbery? Yeah, it's quite a local legend. The train was carrying money destined for the local savings and loan. Caboose Malloy made his move just as it pulled into town. Stop, thief! Luckily, the conductor apprehended him, but the loot was never found. Malloy always protested his innocence. Eventually, he broke out of jail and disappeared for good. Stay here, kids. This is the cell where they kept Malloy. Malloy's ghost tried to trap us. Go 
was smoked. It wasn't even locked. Seems like that old case has you spooked. Hmm. I wonder if Malloy is back for the loot. After all, it was never found. We'll launch a ghost hunt first thing tomorrow. Officer Halcroft may not believe us, but I have a feeling we're gonna see Malloy again. Good work. He wouldn't dare show his face around here. <gasps> now, why would you young bugs want to be spreading them lies? We know all about you. <gasps> Look! That must be the conductor. Hold it right there, Malloy. This town's history isn't big enough for the both of us. You pay for what you did to me. They went in there. Tomorrow marks the 100th anniversary of the Great Train Robbery. And the Historical Society is resurrecting the spirit of yesteryear by restoring the old Number 7 special to its past splendor. Malloy must have been reawakened for the 100th anniversary reenactment. That's one train we're not gonna miss. The Number 7 special's first run will be at 3 p.m., precisely 100 years after the Great Train Robbery. So Malloy's going to relive the day of the crime. Exactly but with one small difference. He's planning to get away with it this time and settle his score with the conductor. All aboard! Welcome to the fully automated, fully restored number seven train. I don't see Malloy anywhere. But there's Officer Halcroft. Maybe he came to help us catch Malloy after all. The only thing I'm here to catch is a history lesson. Come on, Fang! There! Isn't that Malloy? Sorry about that, sir. We thought you were someone else. We've got to find Malloy before it's too late. It's picking up speed. We should start happening any minute now. There's Malloy! Money! Caught you red-handed again. Only this time, I'll get my hands on the evidence. <laughs> so the conductor's a thief. I ain't gonna be your fool guy. That's not the way Officer Halcroft told it. Stop, thief! <laughs> You're trapped, boy, just like last time. <laughs> who learn from history, and those who are doomed to repeat it. <laughs> so you didn't do it? Can't you see, little lady? I was framed like the Mona Lisa. I've waited a hundred years to clear my name. No one will ever believe me if I don't find that loot. Don't worry, Mr. Malloy. That railroad rascal didn't count on Mona the Vampire. <laughs> We've got to get that box. It's the only evidence. Too fast. 
first. If this engine overheats, there's no telling what will happen. The rough ride, folks. <laughs> I knew that autoconductor feature would be a problem. This turned out to be almost as exciting as the day Malloy robbed the train. <laughs> Correction, Officer Halcroft. You mean the day Malloy didn't rob the train. Now, if this is going to be another one of your far fetched phantoms. <laughs> right this way, gentlemen. That looks like the missing bag of loot. How did it get there? That's where the conductor hid it. He was the real thief. And he accused Malloy. But Malloy was actually trying to save the money. Hmm. Interesting. An old ticket punch and at least some of the loot. I guess Malloy was telling the truth after all. Hmm. Oh, of course, I'll have the boys at the lab look into this. <laughs> it was long believed that Caboose Malloy was the thief. But police recently reopened the case. According to new evidence, the real culprit was the conductor. 